Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, I'm Victoria, V. Russo Art. Today I'm going to be doing a Notion tour. I'm really excited to be doing this because I am obsessed with my Notion app as of recent a couple months. I've had it for a little while now, but I've definitely been using it a lot more recently um, for shop things, freelance things, and my part-time job, as well as some personal things, as you're going to see. I know Notion's been around for a little while now, and I'm kind of late to this Notion tour trend, but I really want to show you guys mine and how I use Notion and how it helps me in my everyday life, and yeah. So, if you don't already know what Notion is, it is basically uh, an online notebook, is what I would say. You can literally put everything and anything in it that you want. A calendar, um, a journal, a photo journal, finances, things like that. Those are just some of the things that I use it for. Obviously, I'm going to show you. We're going to get right into it soon. If you're not already subscribed please head down and do that and don't forget to like this video and leave a little comment if you use notion or maybe if this tour has helped you so let's just get right into my notion so as you can see this is my dashboard this is basically where everything that i need is um i always have a cover on top as well as a little icon the icons are just emojis um i tend to use the like uh, nature ones as you can see because I just like to have a little theme going on um, and for the covers um, you can change covers and use whatever they have that's pretty much what I do I like to use the, the Met Museum ones um, and sometimes I use Unsplash but I don't really use any of my personal ones um, it's just easier this way this is very simple and just easy notion tour for you guys to follow um on the left hand side you have quick find all updates settings um your pages you, this is my dashboard you open it up and everything's here um i usually keep it open so here are the templates that you can use they have literally anything that you could possibly want um you have design student um i'm sure a lot of you are students, I'm not, but um, these seem pretty helpful. Engineering, so like a to-do list, human resources, which is pretty cool. Marketing, um, they even have a content calendar, which is pretty cool to use. I have yet to use this, but um, I think this is really cool if you are a business or maybe a social media manager and you can do um, things like this. Personal, for the personal one, I used the weekly agenda. I've also used a reading list um, and task list, I think. Other, product management, sales, and support. So these are some of the templates you can use. Um, you can also, so you can also import some templates if you like follow somebody that has made a template before um, and you're trash. So let's get into my Notion. Um, here on my dashboard, I have it split up into two sides, work and personal. Um, I find it a lot easier to have it split up this way for my viewing. Um, you can have like school, you can have work, you can have... Um, you can have school, you can have work, you could have like home, you can have anything. I travel, but a hard time remembering that I like have things or have things to do when it's not like easily accessible to me. Um, and I find this is so simple to just like, oh, daily spread, click on it and it opens. I love to use traditional notebooks and journals, and I buy a lot of them, but I never really finish them because I have a hard time like remembering that I have written things in there, especially if they're tucked away in a drawer. I probably will never open them. And if it's not right in front of me, then I will have a really difficult time just remembering that it's there. 
So for my dashboard under work, I keep all things V. Russo art, my personal branding, my shop, my um, freelance work, and like website stuff. And also my part-time job is under here as well. So first I have my calendar, um, very <laughs> simple, very straight to the point. Um, I just have a straight calendar. I mostly use my Google calendar uh, more than this one, because I get notified for events or things that I have to do with my Google Calendar. This doesn't remind you, but when you're in the Notion app, it's nice to like quickly look. Um, you just quickly add an item and you can add an icon, a cover, um, and to delete, you just right click and you could do all this kind of stuff, but yeah, I don't really keep anything in here. I just mostly like to look at my calendar when I don't know what the date is. And then in my daily spread, um, I have a time block. So as you can see, nothing's filled out for today because today is Sunday and it's a chill day. But I really wanted to film my Notion tour today. I was just in the mood. So yeah. So recently I started putting in a time block. So, for example, tomorrow is what? The 28th. So I would do, like, tomorrow I have work. So I'd be like, okay, I use Command B for bold and Uncommand B. And I'll be like, wake up. So that is pretty much what I use my time blocking for. And then um, I do, I have this one, work on shop update plans. Because it's so nice, you can do a uh, not a forward slash, you can do an at, and then it will, you can link to a page that you want to go to, and I find that really helpful for my shop, and also my work that I have to do for my part-time job, and then I also have extra things that I can do underneath my time blocking, so, like, if I am finished early, I like to read, or Sims, or Animal Crossing, <laughs> And then this is a random checklist, so right now I'm filming my Notion tour. Um, I need to start editing my YouTube videos. I did start editing that, actually. I need to start working on my new portfolio um, and work to do. I also have my part-time job linked here for the work that I have to do when I'm in the office. Um, and then you easily just go back to your dashboard. And next, I have a weekly spread that I really don't fill out as much. I really enjoy filling out my daily spread more than my weekly spread because I don't like to plan so far ahead because I feel like when I plan far ahead, I don't actually do it on that day, if that makes sense. So, like, if I put work on my website for Wednesday, but I have, but I have finished some stuff on Monday, and I'm like, oh, I want to work on my, my website right now. Then I'll just work on my website on Monday, and having it on Wednesday is just kind of pointless for me. Um, but I do have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I go to work. Thursdays, I always have therapy, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Next, I have my shop update plans. Um, on the right side, I find this really helpful. I have a calendar view, so when I know I'm going to have a shop update, I add an item and I'll be like, uh, shop update today. And the shop update is usually on that day. Um, and then on the left side, I have my to do. So, so far I, I think I'm going to blur some of this. <laughs> you guys don't need to see it all. But I want to move my domain to Squarespace and make sure I cancel my Wix account. Um, and this right here, one backlink, which is really nice. And you go right back to your daily spread because that is where I showed you before my um, like hyperlink to the shop update plans is. Back to dashboard, I have my YouTube planner. Um, on the left side, I have my goals. Right here, number one, hit 100 su subscribers. So if you are not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Upload weekly, which I'm really bad at. I am trying my best. Um, I want to gain a sponsor sponsorship. 
I want to gain a sponsorship and I also really want to be able to buy a mic for like my voiceovers and stuff. Um, and then I have my currently filming. I am filming an ocean tour right now. And these are my video ideas that I am blurring out. On the right side is my calendar. Again, I just like to see the dates. Um, I really try to upload on Fridays. And then down below, I keep like the music that I use because I have to put it in my description um, or else I think it gets copyrighted. So that's YouTube. And then underneath that is my email planner, which I've been really bad at as well. Um, I really want to do monthly emails. So head over to my website, link is in the bio and you could subscribe to my email list and I will add you to my contacts form. And then when I move over to Squarespace, I think I'm going to start making more emails. Um, yeah, <laughs> so go ahead and do that. My email planner, I have in emails, my goals, um, currently working on and like mini ex excerpt ideas. Um, I want to hit 100 email signups, so again, go subscribe to my email list. I currently have like 80 something, and then on the right, I have a calendar again. Underneath my email planner, I keep my inventory. Uh, I find keeping inventory is really helpful for me on Notion. Um, I have the product, the details, so in my details, I have outsourced or handmade. And then I have, are they in stock, sold out, discontinued, or seasonal? And then the product type is all the way on the end. And I like to keep inventory because, again, if I don't see it right in front of me, I will forget that I even have it. But um, when I switch over to Squarespace, I'm going to be doing a big, huge shop, clean out, redesign, um yeah everything i'm just like really trying to uh, make everything fit with me my like brand my brand my stuff like that um so yeah here's inventory little mushroom icon and again you can change your covers right here Underneath my inventory, I have my work to do that I'm going to open, but um, this is a reminder to myself to please blur everything in here because I don't want to share that um, because it is not mine. <laughs> so right here, I have my schedule for the week. And then I like to go down. The we use a Trello board for work, but I like to keep my stuff that I'm doing in my Notion for work because everyone that I work with can see the Trello board and in my Notion only I could see it and I like to write myself little notes. I like to like list what is like low on importance or high on importance um, and I just like to keep everything kind of to myself. I'm don't really like when everyone can see what I'm doing. So yeah, I just have this little template for not started, next up, in progress, waiting for approval, and completed. Um, and then we get to the fun stuff. So on my right side, I have my personal stuff, which I like to work on um, for fun sometimes. So sometimes I just fill out my personal side just for fun, um, especially this one all things NYC and shopping. So these, not everybody is going to have the same, I guess, issues when it comes to scheduling and organizing. My main issues, as I said multiple times, is that if it's not in front of me, I will forget it forever. So, um, I like to keep the most random of things inside my Notion. Let's start All Things NYC opens to another sort of um, dashboard. I'm currently not moving. <laughs> um, this is more of a pipe dream that I'm really trying to achieve. And you can help me out by subscribing. But yeah, I live in New Jersey and I want to live in New York. That is basically it. And I'm trying to, I don't know, make it happen 
manifest it, I guess. <laughs> um, it might seem stupid to some people, but for me, it's kind of like a way to see like, okay, this is what I'm working for. This is what I'm getting part-time or full-time jobs for. This is what I'm freelancing for. This is what I'm working on my shop for. And it motivates me to really want to do better and... So it's just helpful for me. Um, on the left side, I have get it done. And on the right side, I have the vision. So under get it done, some of these things are for mostly when I actually do move. Um, but some of these things are like just before it happens. For example, how to obtain the goal. I'm going to blur my like what to I'm gonna blur my little to-do points but on top I have to I have how to obtain the goal and it's basically how am I gonna do this what do I need to be able to move to the city how much money do I need to make and or save underneath I have how to make v Russo art my full-time career which I'm slacking on really badly because I, again, have an outside job that takes a lot of, like, meticulous work and makes me kind of tired and I've been slacking on my own stuff, which I don't want to do, but it's just how it is for now. So I kind of just have little, um, check boxes on how to do that. Then let's go back. Practical purchases in here. We have room. So like the bedroom. Um, and a checklist of like everything I would need for a bedroom. Living room, kitchen, bathroom, etc. And I have this list because I would never ever ever remember the most like random of things. Like hangers. Or, or like, spatulas and spoons and stuff like that. Um, and also, I have a cleaning section because, again, I would forget that you need those kinds of things. And I'm definitely probably missing things in here, but that's what, you know... That's just what I can remember as of right now, and it will change when I do actually move one day. <laughs> and here's budget. Um, it doesn't, like, ex see, I made this in October. I don't know why the date's like that, but I made <laughs> it in October of last year, I guess. The budget is basically, again, not for now, but for later to remember that okay, you're gonna be living on your own, you need to budget because you're not gonna have a lot of money right away. And you can't be spending money on, like, stupid things that you don't need. Um, so I would just have, like, you know, monthly budgeting. I don't know, like, what I spent. Stuff like that. Um, it'll obviously change as time goes on because obviously I'm living at home and this is just a template for now and then going back I have things my mom keeps in the house to do um checklist not to do it's just a checklist but there's so many random things that my mom keeps in the house or like I feel like anybody would really like your parent or guardian like keeps in the house that you probably forgot like when you moved away or it's just like things that your parents would think of having or like you've always just had in the house and you don't really and you don't really think like oh yeah I need that and then underneath that is a grocery list again for when the move happens the vision is on the right side so we have a mood board that I add photos to I haven't added anything in it quite yet um I use Pinterest a lot I don't really need this, but yeah. Decor inspo, I 
came up with this yesterday, which I thought was probably a good idea to, like, let's say I see things that I would really like to have in a apartment. I put the item, the link to it, what room it would be in, and the price. Fairly simple. And then the last one is my dream apartment, like what I would really want and like really hope for. A lot of it's probably definitely most, most definitely like a dream apartment. That's why it's called my dream apartment. And it's not, you know, exactly how it's going to be. But definitely my number one thing would be space for an art studio, like a mini little section, um, because I have a lot of stuff for art. And that's in that one. Next we have shopping, which I also added yesterday, um, because I want to buy things and then I don't want to buy it in the moment because it adds up. So it's like, all right, maybe I'll buy it, like, just keep it here and, like, buy it as time goes on. Um, so I have the item, the link, what it is. And it'll also be, like, for, like, concerts or, like, an electronic. Um, I don't know, like, let's say when I wanted to buy my Nintendo Switch, like, I would put it in here, I guess. And then the price and then purchased and, Yeah. It's mostly just things I want, not things I need at all. Next, I have finances, which is going to be blurred, of course. But what I do for my finances, I like to keep track of big ticket items, um, expenses, and things that I buy for my shop. So I have the expense, like what it is. So, for example, let me show you the first one. I have my Patreon subscription amount it's 533 a month category it's a subscription um and then comment if like i didn't know what it was and then the date and then underneath i have my income also going to be blurred um but i'll show you the top one so um transaction what it is v russo art wix um so that's how much i got paid from a purchase the amount, $7.95. Category, it was a shop income, not a freelance job. Um, it was a sticker sheet and a bookmark. Date and paid. They paid. I keep the paid one for freelance to see did they pay, did they not, whatever. Um, and then underneath these last two, I really liked having these. It was very helpful um, for vacation checklist. I have where I'm going. I went to Virginia Beach in 2021 and I went to New Orleans in February and these are just the things I like I need. So like I have my carry-on bag, toiletries, clothing, and other and once I pack them I just check them off and they're good to go. Um, I think this is really really helpful um, I don't have a cover on this one for some reason, so let's change the cover. Let's pick something out together. Um, vacation-y. Let's see, what do we got in here? Um, okay, that's fine. Actually, I lied. I don't really like that one. Uh, maybe just, like, little a little plant? Where is the plant? Alright, some little leaves. But yeah, I think this is really helpful to have. So now going back to my very last thing that I have is a holiday gift guide. I added this in, obviously, during the holidays. And I just have everybody in here. Mom, brother, sister-in-law, sister, brother-in-law, sister, brother grandma, boyfriend, and the children of the family. And when it's the holiday season, just go to-do list and get your gift item. And check it off once you buy it. And I found it very helpful during the holidays. Again, I don't have a cover on here for some reason. Um, but I let's add one together. That's cute. It's fine. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it for my Notion tour. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And I would be more than happy to answer. 
Don't forget to follow me on all my social media that is linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well. A lot of things that you should not forget to do. Um, also, you can hit the notification bell down below and you'll get notified anytime I post. So you don't even have to come to the app to see if I posted because you will be notified. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!